Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running macOS 13 Ventura in VMware. To get started, navigate to the VMware.com site and download VMware Workstation Player. Next, we'll need to download the VMware Unlocker utility from GitHub. Navigate to the Downloads directory and right-click on the VMware Workstation Installer and run as Administrator. Click through the installer, accepting most of the defaults. Except choose if you'd like to opt out of Analytics on the User Experience page. With VMware Workstation Player now installed, Extract the downloaded and locker zip file. Navigate into the extracted unlocker folder, then right click on unlocker.exe and run as administrator. Click the patch button in the unlocker application. Once the patch is applied successfully, close out of unlocker. Click the start menu and launch VMware Workstation Player. Click the Create a New Virtual Machine option. Select the Installer Disk Image option, then browse to and select the macOS 13 ISO. Click Next to continue. Select Apple macOS in version 13, then click Next. Give the virtual machine a name and set the location where the file should be saved. Set the disk size to at least 40 gigabytes, then click Next and Finish to create the VM. Open File Explorer and navigate to the location where the VM files are stored. Edit the .vmx file in a text editor. Search for board ID .reflect host and set the value to false. Search for Ethernet 0.virtualdev and set the value to VMXNet 3. Copy the additional properties from the video description and paste them at the bottom of the VMX file. Save the changes to the file and close it. Navigate back to the VMware Workstation Player and launch the macOS 13 VM. Wait a few moments for macOS recovery to initialize. Select your language and click the arrow at the bottom right of the menu. Double click on Disk Utility. Select the VMware Virtual SATA hard drive, then click on Erase. Name the device macOS and click Erase. After the device has been initialized, click Done and close the Disk Utility. Now double click the install macOS option. Click continue, then click agree and agree again. Finally, select the macOS disk and click continue. At this point it's just a waiting game. As macOS is installed, the VM will reboot several times. After several progress bars and VM reboots, you'll reach the macOS sysprep asking you to select your region. Select your country or region and click continue. Verify the language settings. If you need to make changes, click customize settings, otherwise click continue. Click not now at the accessibility screen, then continue on the data and privacy screen. Click not now on the migration assistant, and then set up later on the Apple ID screen. Then click skip to confirm. Click agree to the terms and conditions, and then agree again. On the Create Account page, enter their full name, username, and password, and click Continue. Click Continue on the Enable Location Services page, then click Don't Use to confirm. Click your location on the map to select your time zone, then click Continue. 
Choose if you'd like to share macOS analytics, then click continue. Then click set up later for screen time. Select if you'd like to use the light or dark theme and click continue. Once the desktop fully appears, right click on the installation media and select eject. In the VMware workstation menu, select player, removable devices, then the CD DVD drive, then click settings. Click the browse button and navigate to the extracted unlocker download from earlier. Inside the tools subfolder, select darwin.iso. Make sure to check the connected box at the top of the settings dialog, then click OK. Double click install VMware tools. Click through the installer until you get a security prompt. Enter the user's password to confirm the installation. Click OK to continue, then click Open Security Preferences. Select Privacy and Security from the left navigation, then scroll to the bottom of the options to find VMware Inc. and click Allow. Enter the user's password again to confirm, then click Restart for the changes to take effect. The installation in the background should fail and you'll need to click Quit. After the VM reboots, log back in. Double click on Install VMware Tools again. Click through the installer, authenticating when prompted. Click OK to continue. Once the installation completes successfully, click Restart. After this final reboot, log back into the VM. Close out of any open applications from our previous session, and right-click and eject the VMware Tools installer. Welcome to macOS 13 Ventura, running inside VMware.